I've done some dope stuff for uh, different artists and, and athletes like Boosie. Everybody think it's chameleon, but it's a, it's a pearl. Pearl flop, you know what I'm saying? The color, my sister, she got a Skylark, the same color, whatever. So she was just like, man, bro, that should have looked good on the, on the ace. So, you know, that's where the color came from. And then like with the interior and everything, you know what I'm saying? Just put my own little twist to it and you know, just watching the scene, just seeing little shit and you know, just putting it with it. Them Dayton's staggered in the back, small hug. You know what I'm saying? They be talking about big hub, small hub. They still thingalings, man. 24 carat, man. The motor, man, that's a um, LSX 427, 3.0 Whipple. Um, you know, check it out, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, with the speakers, I got um, 315 kickers. Um, my boy Jughead on the music, you know what I'm saying? He went, he went crazy with the music. Got a um, memorial to my grand. I got my grandmama and my granddaddy on there, you feel me? My motivation, like, you know what I'm saying? What's going on guys? It's your boy Six from All Star Customs, your dog's favorite collar dealer. I've been doing this for about eight years now, going on strong. I do custom collars, leashes, harnesses, a little bit of everything. I've done some dope stuff. It's for uh, different artists and, and athletes like Boosie, um, Paul Wall, to name a few. Good, this is Barney, 305 Chevy Action Marine. Sitting here with the G20 Chevy van. Born and raised in Miami. You know we had Chevys, box Chevys, Donks, Verts. Not everything is my favorite one. Just trying to be a little different, you know? Got the woodwork done. A few things, had to put the decent Vogues on here. Still got original paint from 83. Got a little small block in there. Figured we had to bring a little bit of that Chicago shit to Miami. See all them boys out there riding them billets, riding them Chevy vans. They about 20 deep out there. I figure shit, ain't nobody down here got this shit, so might as well throw one together. Put the wood in there, went ahead and redid the seats. Kept it original, had to put the bed in there. The family, we still go camping in the van. Got get down in there. You know, just all out party bus. Pretty much everything here was done by me. The music, the headliner. My boy Walt helped me with the wood. The only thing I had to get done was the seats, because I ain't no sewer. But everything else was hands-on. Did my own music, did my headliner, everything. We did everything at my house. Just like any other Chevy or old school, shit ain't cheap. It's hard to find these with no rust. So you looking to get in this game, it ain't the donk game, but it's still, you gotta be hands-on. You gotta be ready for headaches. You know how it goes. Everyone with the car scene knows how it goes. It's pretty much the same shit, just a little bit different because we thinking outside the box. Had to do it up with a van this time. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Fly Money T all the way from 216 Cleveland, Ohio. Brought one of the hottest dunks in Ohio down here. We uh, represent the city, represent the state, and uh, we putting on for everybody, my nigga. So as you see, this is a uh, Candy Magenta House of Color. I went with this particular color because I wanted something to stick out and different from everybody else. And uh, I ain't gonna lie, this color, when you pull out in the sun, turn heads, you know what I mean? 28 inch. Porgiato's all gold. Of course, we got the seven inch lip in the back. We shortened the rear end so the wheels could fit up under there. But of course, when you do all that, you gotta go in and out. As far as with your rear end being shortened enough so you can be, have your wheels tucked up under the, the skirts and everything too. So 
No rubbing, no touching, the frame been notched. Uh, it's a lot of time and money in this car though, I ain't gonna lie. Motor-wise, we got a big block 454 that been bored out. We got vintage air on this thing, electric dual fans, two alternators on here, serpentine belt, uh, four lithium batteries, wide wheel brakes. So, you know, we took our time with this thing, man. Interior, we got real leather, real suede, fresh carpet, fresh dash. Then we went with the racer, seat belts in here. But when you hit that power, you're gonna need something to hold you in this car while you're rolling, you dig? Everything been touched in this car. Every piece of fabric, cloth, everything been touched in this car, man. Fully power, all the windows is fully power. The top, I ain't even gotta have a car on for the top to come up. You know, glass window, you know what I'm saying? It goes smooth without the car even on. Uh, Sound-wise, we got six 12s in here. We got about a hundred, speakers with including tweeters in the car too. So the doors inside these cabins have eight six and a halves with eight tweeters at each door. Um, and they gotta compensate because you got a convertible. So when you drop the top, the music loses power. So the more music you put in that car, it's like having a choir in the car. They all singing at the same time, you dig? Compared to somebody else's solo singing in the church, we got the whole choir in this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now let me elaborate when I say time and money in these cars. First, you gotta be patient if you want this car to look as good as you got it now, you know what I'm saying? A lot of shops move at their own pace, but when the work is done, you be happy with the outcome, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Money-wise, I'm a nine to fiver. I own my own business and I just pace myself buying what I can afford to buy. And uh, for the loan, I had this car four years. So it took me four years to this point to get it to where it's at, you know? A lot of sacrifices, a lot of late nights at the shop, but it paid off. I'm here to represent for my car club, straight pimping. And shit, talk about cars without my favorite topic. If it ain't about cars, I don't wanna talk about it. I mean, well, you wanna talk about some money, we can talk about it too. But uh, mainly cars, mainly cars. This is an 89 box Chevy. The car been built since 2016. I ain't really had to do too much. The car was already clean. The car got 32,000 miles. So I broke it down, got it painted. I've been in the car game already since I was a kid. And that's all I know is cars. It's my passion, I love it. I chose Dayton's cause that's my passion. I like wire wheels on these cars. Now all of a sudden everybody has uh, jumped on the on the Dayton wagon and everybody has Dayton's now, but I've been rocking Dayton's since I was a kid. They ain't nothing better than me. Put the rims to fit on there right. Some people just put the rims on and don't worry about the stance on the car. This car has been fitted for the rims, so it sits how I wanted to sit. I mean, I went from breaking it all down the outside to putting it all back together and spraying it. Uh, I put that Tommy patch on the fender. A lot of people ask me why. I had a car back in 1994 when I was in high school that also had a Tommy patch on it and it kind of set my car aside from the others. So when I built this car, I felt like there was several blue box Chevys in my city. So I, I remixed it a little bit. I came back with a Tommy Hill figure. Now the car is known. You know, nationwide, people know it as a Tommy box. It's painted in the car, it's not a sticker. The, the, the pinstripes are also painted on the outside of the car. The car has been, it has everything, all the lights, the light bezels, all the plastics, all that is brand new NOS. If you know me, people hear about me, I'm a big NOS guy. I like, NOS means new old stock. These are parts for these cars that were made back then as replacement parts, and now they, they hard to find, so. If you do find them, you're gonna pay a premium. But it's better than putting all the aftermarket junk on your car and stuff don't right. So if you can find an NOS, new old stock, that's the best way. It's gonna go right back on the car and it's gonna fit perfect. This car really has only been touched on the outside. The interior, the interior is all stock, kind of the way I like it. Be able to drive the car if I wanna drive it to Daytona, I can. Not that I'll do that, because there ain't no point of putting your car on the road driving five hours, then getting to where you're gonna get to, you ain't gonna wanna be in the car no more. So some people say, why are you trailering it? I'm, tra I'm trailering it because I want it to be a treat when I get there to be able to drive it. If you build something right, you're always gonna be 
comfortable with, 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 in your own skin with what you built. Never follow the trend. Everybody follows a trend and ends up building cookie cutter shit. Everybody has the same outcome. I want different. So when you see my car, my cars are classy. I like classy stuff. I don't like over the top builds. And this is my box Chevy. My name is Chance Walker. I'm a 6th exotic. I'm 14 years old from West Palm Beach, Florida. This right here is a 1968 Chevelle convertible, 24 inch Forgiatos, music, stock motor, 396 stroker, uh, manual. And yeah, let's look at it. 24 inch Forgiatos, black on black. And we got two, 215 um, sundown audios on their own, um, own battery. In the interior, there's leather, regular, regular interior. Uh, um, as I said, this is an original car. Everything is mostly original, so we don't have a tab. We have an Alpine stereo system. Um, it's manual, three, 396 stroker manual. Um, Ford Auto steering wheel to match the rim. So what got me in the cars was, I say, I was like six or seven, and my dad got a 1971 hardtop Impala. And ever since then, I just been in love with cars. We, he had a Ferrari, Porsche. We always had toys, cars, so yeah. I'm really, I'm really into it now. Cars and dogs, that's really our main thing. So yeah. So what, what got us in the dogs, we got a Frenchie. And then I say about four or five months later, we got a bully and we just kept getting more dogs. So we made up a kennel. And then our name used to be Walker Boy Kennels that we changed it to Six Six Exotics. One night I was in my room, just looking at the ceiling and I came up with Six Six Exotics. A few tips. If you're trying to get into the car game, it's not cheap, it's not easy. It's very time consuming. Very expensive. Some Sundays you might cry, blood, sweat, and tears. Dog game, same thing. Not cheap at all. Very time consuming. The dog game is crazy. Um, if you if you're looking to get into it, I say it depends on what you want. If you want a project car, you gonna get a, go get you a project car. But if you want to just start easy, how this was, this car was just like this, and we just put rims on it and got the music done to it. But some cars may be rusty, and some cars may be done up. So. It all depends on what you want to do, how much work you want to put into it. Some people have half a million dollars in cars, some people don't. So it all depends on you and your pockets. Y'all already know, if you know Landlord Jack, you know what it is with these cars. I'm a big dog. Also, when it comes to these dogs, I'm a big dog. Come check my camp out. This is my camp right here, Sunny Florida Frenchies. You can find us on IG, Facebook, all the social medias. We got some of the hardest Frenchies and studs in Florida. Top-notch business. Check the car out, too. 1975 Caprice, frame off, everything here, every nut, every bolt. 2.9 Whipple. I ain't gonna tell you too much because I don't want y'all to know what I got, but y'all see what I got. Go ahead and show them what it is. <laughs> 